Hello, hi, Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to have you here on the red carpet. Um, if you could just kick off with an intro, what can people expect from part two? And particularly, where do they find your character? My character is Hagen. And uh, I, uh, I haven't seen uh, the Scar Giver yet. This is so I'm, I'm very excited. But I think uh, it's going to be uh, expecting uh, even more action than it was even though it was pretty, pretty uh, action driven, uh, the first one. But I think even this was going to be yeah, more excited. I hope so. And hearing Zach Snyder talking about it, he was sort of saying, you know, and if you sort of see the first film more, it's like putting the team together. This is really more an out and out war film. But yet you're also seeing a bit more context to a lot of the characters. Yeah, I think so. But, you know, as I, as I said, I haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited to see it, but I think so. I think, like my colleagues said, you know, when they, those who saw it in L.A. and also in New York, you go a little bit deeper into each, each and every one. I think it's going to be more understandable for the audience and, 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 and you know, more amusing, yeah. And it must be phenomenal working with a director like Zach, but also with this incredible budget. I mean, the canvas is just huge. What was your experience of being on set? It was great. I mean, it was huge. It was really, really, uh, you know, uh, there's so many extras, so many people, so, so the, the, every department so, uh, so big. For me, I mean, uh, and you know, Zach is so, he's good at that. I mean, in these difficult circumstances of, you know, the heat, the, all the dust, the, the COVID policy, which was still actually on, uh, dealing with that, he's just uh, full of energy and, you know, keep, keeping the spirits up. And I know you, you shot both films back to back and so you know like what what were some of the highlights of being on that shoot and some of the challenging moments? My scenes, you know, personal scenes that I, that I had with uh, Sofia Botella, you know, it, it was, uh, it was, I mean it was just nice, it was not challenging really, but, but I don't know, the most challenging was dealing with the heat, I think, and the dust. <laughs> And I know I was reading as well that a lot of inspiration came from the likes of the Star Wars movies. Were you always a big sci-fi fan? And um, what was the experience of like being able to jump on board with a project like this? I, I, I used to be uh, kind of a, a fan of sci-fi movies, but, but then, you know, getting older, you know, uh, my tastes changed a little bit. But, uh, but when I got this role, because also uh, my when I read the script first, I was like, I was surprised that my character is so nice. Hagen is the nicest guy in the world, and a very peaceful guy. Usually, because uh, I'm from Iceland, you know, and and, and cast casted in foreign movies, you know, you're cast, usually playing bad guys or bad asses. <laughs> but this, this was nice. <laughs> And working with Zach, I mean, what do you think makes him stand out as a filmmaker? He's got a very distinctive style, I think. I think it's very interesting in these action-driven movies uh, that he he let the audience follow the, each character. You know, so even even smaller characters are, you know, get into their history and you know get to know them better than usually, you know, when you see these action movies. Absolutely. Well, really enjoy the night. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much. Thanks.